is also Alyssa. We're your buttons babes. We're clearly having a great day. Yep, I drove a little. How are you doing out there? Um, oh. Today, we're gonna talk about something that has been a little pressing and irking to me. Um, also check out some TikTok links below for like reference if you're not sure about what we're about to talk about. The lock and key analogy that has been going around the interwebs lately. Okay, I'm... I'm Do you know what that I, is? I don't know what lock and key is and I need to be edumacated. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so for everyone who has not heard, okay, um, there's this podcast, I don't know their name, and I don't care to learn their name. Damn. So it's it's some dudes. It's some dudes oh. talking some shit. Okay. Basically, um, they recently I don't actually know recently, but like they had a guest, Brittany Renner. I don't know who she is, other than she was like a famous Insta Fit model. Is a famous Insta Fit model. Okay. Okay. So they like had her on and tried to like school her on like you know her whole thing, whatever. She had some really good points, and they. <laughs> And many other podcasts have been like clipping footage and then trying to again clap back on it. And that's like one kind of joke. But they also have this dude on the podcast who talks about this like lock and key method that like basically a key can open many locks and that's great, like a master key. Okay. But a lock that can be opened by lots of different keys has no value. Okay. Excuse so, me? So if that's not like really hitting yet still, it's basically like a man is a key with his wiener. Okay. So his wiener has the ability to unlock many keys. <laughs> Let's key being the vagine yep. that women have mm -hmm. typically. I'm assigning like the most uh, regular gender roles here. Mm -hmm. But like, so if the vagine can be unlocked by many keys, it does not have a lot of value versus a vagine that only has one master lock key. Fuck off. Okay. <laughs> and that's why I, like, every time I see it, I'm like, <sighs> yo, what the, like, what, how do you, and so there's lots of great um, men, women in between who are like stitching this on TikTok and going at it like a mm -hmm. regular person with a brain would of like, mm -hmm. how does this not make sense? Let me count the ways. And it's still like, I, as much as I'm like super jazzed to see those coming in, I'm seeing right. from from men of various parts of TikTok and women and, and in between people of like various forms of TikTok that it's like great that this video is like growing and people are talking about it and calling it out. But it's also like, we're still giving those dudes kind of the satisfaction of like right? talking about it, it, but like it's so ignorant. And I know so many dudes probably are subscribing to that. Like, and it's very obvious that like they've never been with a woman. Those they've bros not are like, still out there. Like, yes, that, that mentality, that kind of guy, and even like ladies, yes, that kind of woman. I mean, uh, and yeah, to yes, each to their not own. Who subscribe to a. Like, it, okay, for different reasons, people wait until marriage or they are not as, you know, sexually experienced as or others active. or act yeah. for their own reasons. And that's totally fine. If you are like, uh, yeah, like yep. escaping the purity, like, you know, mm -hmm. deflowered, like all of that bullshit. If you're like, yeah, I just, this for me, whatever, great. Good for you. Love it. If you are like, I can only sleep with people after the 27th date and they've sucked my toes and given me flowers. Great. Love that for you also. Right. But to like, what bothers me the most is that, that double standard in terms of men who get to go out, sleep around. You're the fucking man. You're doing the damn thing. Like, okay. And we don't get to do the same thing. We are of less value. Actually, it is more value because guess what? I know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, I, I have more experience in that area. And so what does it matter? I'm, so, I'm having a good time then if right? I know what works for me versus like being like, well, I don't know because I've only seen this or like- You just I'm, want me to lay there and fucking right, starfish? Like, yeah. like, <laughs> Do you want to starfish? Like th those, those locks who only had a few keys, that, that is the-, the for the most part, because I don't know, maybe their fucking porn game is on point or like just, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, there's maybe that avenue, great. like, yes, but like you, you can't expect a porn star in bed if you don't allow Hello? room for growth, for sure, for sure. And like in the same breath, like if you are practicing with yourself and you don't have a lot of partners, also great for you. But like, it's like to, you've said it time and time again in many of our videos, <laughs> like to each their own, like do what makes you happy, but also don't 
subscribe to this if you're confused and have not been in intimate relationships with other people that like um having a partner who has had multiple instances who, who fucks multiple people like there's there that's are that's theirs it's none of your fucking business as long as every like as long as there's safety consent yes. or whatever but like and also don't sh- well, I'm, uh, there's no I'm, like value so should be glad. added there like it's really like uh, this is a great button. I'm like, like I'm all types of heated because there is also this aspect of shame that is being placed on women for being like sexually active or permissive, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Just like like experience sex. for having sex. The same way that you are having sex, like the there is less value on me and which places a shame. And I I often don't like to get into the patriarchy and all of that because that's a whole other thing that we have yet to, who I'm not ready. Um, but there is this element of, that's the fucking patriarchy again, in terms of this, like it's okay for men to do that because we have to keep women in this protected bubble and like make, have them believe that they're supposed to hold on to that or it's virtuous or there's a different kind of value. Like, there, it's, it's it's a different, like, we're placing same, same, different values. I'm like, fuck you. Like, I, yeah. no. It, it just, ugh, I don't even think I explained that clearly, but. Va- um, I mean, you, essentially, your value is not just in the fucking genitalia on your body. Right. Your value as a person ha- is made up of, like, tons and tons of things, mm-hmm. but I think also, like, placing value on a person is, like, not something that we should be doing at any like any layer because enslaved people their value was work um if we're inanimate at objecting our genitalia <laughs> value like that's like de i mean it's like well, the layers yeah. of value on on a person is dehumanizing like and to me it's still fucking backwards i'm like you're stupid like like I, you think about that it's fucking stupid it's, you have less value if you have been with more people if you have more experience, you have less value. Come on, what? It's like, if you still believe that, like, the more things that have been inside a vagina, like, the stretchier or, like, the, like, whatever is there, like, you literally don't know how science works. And again, like, it shows that you have not been involved with someone who has a vagina. Or one that will <laughs> speak up. To, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess also, <laughs> yes. But, like... <laughs> I'm I for so sure irritated. at some point believed the- that my vagina would stretch out if I had too much sex. For sure at some point growing up, I was like, I can't touch that. I can't go in there because I don't want it to be stretched out. This is probably And so, what- at yeah. some point, thank God, someone showed me fucking science. Mm-hmm. And like, I was like, okay, great. Yeah, now I fucking know. No matter what goes up there, like, it's going to be fine. Like, I'm not, you know, not in that sense. Um, <laughs> but I'm... I was... I have a feel like there's an... I had a light bulb moment in terms of why I'm so triggered by this and why, like, I mean, of course, it's a button we want to push and we want to talk about it. It's right up our alley. But, like, why you were also so triggered by it. Because at one point, we did believe that how many people that we have had sex with is connected to our value so, as women. Yeah. Like, that I'm like, oh, my God, my... Like, I... The moment... I exceeded my hands and my toes. I was like, fuck, oh my God, I'm a slut, I'm a whore, I'm this, like I'm nasty, I'm dirty. No, those things, like it's not, that is not a bad thing, but for so long we have been conditioned to believe that it is a bad thing as a woman to be. To like having sex, to be sexual, to like have multiple experiences, Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, it's something that I, to this day, to a certain extent, I still struggle struggle with because, like, I mean, but then that falls into to each their own because casual sex and I are just like, I, nope, I get feelings, it happens, and I just, it's, it's it gets messy. And I, anyway, um, that, that belief is in us or was in us at some point to the point where, like, hearing that, like, it's just like, it's oh, that's right. It is, yeah, it's, it's very so infuriating, infuriating because, I mean, yeah, I grew up in, like, purity, like, yep. that whole thing. Uh, didn't have a purity ring, but, like, it was definitely, like, a thing that was, like, regular for my, like, for me growing up. Like, people had them, and I was, like, I mean, I'm afraid of fucking dicks, so I'm not worried <laughs> about this. <laughs> like, but, you know. You know? I dumbass re-virginized myself or whatever when I was 16. Like, I, that, like, I was, like, I got... 
a ring that had the cross on it for my birthday, and I was like, I, I mean, but so, that's, like, you know, at the yeah. time, also, that, like, that's what, mm -hmm. like, sometimes, God, the amount of things that looking back, like, young me, young Alyssa, God bless her for fucking making it to this point, Yo. but, like, I'm like, you know what, young, that's what, that's what I needed, that's what I need, I'm mm -hmm. gonna, I'm gonna just, be real special, <laughs> glad we, there's not a journal putting around of that time in my life, like, oh, I don't know, journals, we moved to, I, I, mm, mm. anyway, um, we are, <laughs> we're, fr we're frustrated, fix, uh, triggered bleh. for all of the reasons, um, I'm like, I, anyway, so we just learned, I also just learned what lock and key is in terms of like that idea that analogy. is floating around that analogy, that, that, that bullshit, um, but you all should let us know what you think, what are your thoughts, comments, feels, all of whatever. Have you heard of it before? Like, right. yeah, what do you, absolutely, Are thoughts, you as comments. mad as we are? Because I hope so. If not, please, like, ex explain to us why. Like, we are not against that uncomfortable conversation, that confrontation, that We want to grow together, debate. and yep. like, this is a spot that like, yeah, we feel is like, if you're, if you're on that train, we would love Talk to help to you us. grow. <laughs> of that train and get back on the one in the right direction. <laughs> That's not, that was great. That's not where I thought she was going with it. But where I'm going is, y'all should like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.